everyone, this is Techzone here, and today I'll be showing you how to create a basic website in Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. So first of all, you need to make a folder with all your files. So I made one called website. It could be called anything you want. And then here, I don't really need these two, because I made a tutorial earlier, but it didn't go well. Make a folder called HTML, and in there, images, and in there, put all your pictures that you want. A background and two windows pictures so let's open up Adobe Dreamweaver I recommend getting Photoshop to uh, create the logos and banners okay now once you get this you're gonna go to site new site and what you're gonna do is type the site name or whatever you want I'll type it as demo local root folder is that folder in your desktop just select that folder uh, you want and just click on oh, this twice there then images the same thing the images folder open select and that's about it click OK by the way it's in the advanced tab if anyone's looking for it oh it's already there demo one two three Easy as that. Yeah, processing. So over here on the local files, you get your folders where all your work is. So create a new HTML. Now you get this. So on top you get three uh, tabs: code, which is where you can work on the coding; split, where you can also see the code and the design view; and design only shows the design view. So that's all there is to know. Let's create our web page. But you don't like the background. What you're gonna do at the bottom here at properties, it should be selected as HTML. Then select page properties, and here you're gonna change appearance, background image, and I'm gonna select that image I want. Background. Or you can change the background color and text color, anything you like. So mine should change the color I want now I want to create a title so here's how we're gonna make a title so you need to add a table first because tables can be aligned so the text can be aligned so uh, no rows no co I mean one row one column table with 1024 because most of the people's resolutions also have 1024 so you want to make it fit so leave everything else and click OK and let's type the title Windows 95 okay so now we want to align them you're going to select the table and down here on the table over here on the properties align should be center Oops, center and for the text to be aligned um, what you can do is select TD CSS and select align center They'll ask for a CSS rule, just type in what it is, it's the text for Windows 95. No spaces when you're typing that down. And let's change the font. If you want to add your font, if it's not here, go to Edit Font List. And on the available fonts, just select the one you want, click the arrow, and click OK, and you're done. So let's select this one, change the size, that should do it. Now, uh, just click right next to it until you get the blinking thing I'm not sure what it is I forgot uh, just next to the uh, table not under it not above it next to it instead of another table that's where our picture is gonna be leave the settings as it is and it'll be aligned to the center again and now from here go to that images folder and Im import your image into that table type the name of it and it should be there oh wait I think I didn't do it right. Win 95. There it is. So it's on the left side. If you want it at the center, just select it. Go to TD and click middle. Type the name of it again. And it should be at the middle. So let's take a look how it looks like. Just select this button at the top, preview in Chrome or your web browser. Save the changes. And this is how your page looks like. Now we want to add so you have added a table right but where you want to add the borders around that for the table to do that select the table until you get these red lines around it 
you are going to table over here and border will be three the more greater the thicker the border will be so let's do the same for the other one table three now let's see preview in chrome save there we go now we want to create a hyperlink to another page of ours but first a new page so i want it to be the same as this otherwise if you want to create a new html right click new file and then after that it's the same thing if you want to copy a web page select that web page control plus c and control v you just say copy of that i'm going to rename it now when you're going to create a new html uh, file a new file let's name it windows 3.1 dot html every new page you make of file it has to be dot html and there's our copy so let's type in windows 3.1 let's replace that picture this one three one okay okay once we finish you can resize the picture and once you're done click anywhere not inside the table and the table should be automatically resized but how what's the text that's going to lead to the page under that picture in windows 95 let's type in windows 3.1 highlight it and over here you're going to go to under properties html link if your page is going to go to YouTube, copy the YouTube URL and paste it there. Otherwise, if it's a page you created here, you're going to select this point to file, drag it and point to the um, HTML file. So, let's see how it looks like. If, again, just select the class, otherwise if, it, otherwise if it's none, and if you're going to just um, change the font or whatever, this will come up again. Just type any name or whatever and click OK and you're done. Let's change the font. Okay. So let's take a look how it looks like. Save that. Oh, before doing anything, make sure you click Save All. Okay, you have to save all so that um, both of the web pages get saved. If you click Save, it'll only save this page, not the 3.1 page. So let's view it. Here's our page. Click 3.1, it goes to the 3.1 page. So, that's pretty much the basics on how to create your own web page and or website in Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. If you enjoyed the video, why don't you subscribe for more. So, thanks for watching and have a great day.